Hey everybody, this is Todd Musman with Muss and Turners. This is the local table brought to you by Springer Mountain Farms. And we're back again talking about chili peppers. So we're gonna do our second chili pepper preparation here today. Um, I decided I'm gonna use the Scotch bonnets for this one. Uh, we're gonna make a little chili salt. Uh, this is a fun preparation. Uh, it's, a, it's a way, again, to preserve the bounty of the fall. These are local chili peppers grown by my friend Bill Yoder. Uh, and Bill grows these wonderful classic Scotch bonnets. You can see by the shape of them, kind of looks like a beret or a little hat. Uh, these are classic Jamaican peppers. Uh, once again, I'm not gonna cut these open, uh, but I am gonna glove up to remove the stems because all the heat resides in the stems and the, uh, in the seeds and the ribs rather, inside the pepper. All that capsaicin is captured in there. So you're gonna be very careful when you handle these peppers. You don't wanna get any of that on your skin. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and pop off these stems real quick. I'm gonna use two of them. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a chili salt. So right here I have some really coarse rock salt. Uh, there's a reason for that. I don't wanna use kosher salt for this preparation. We normally use kosher salt for pretty much everything we do uh, in the restaurant. This rock salt is something that we put in our, in our salt grinders that we put on the table. But I found that if I use this, and we go ahead and we're gonna use a food processor, what we call a roboku in the business. We're gonna go ahead and put our salt in. Blade's already in place. So this salt's so coarse, it's almost like little rocks. We're gonna put the peppers in whole. And when we turn the machine on and the blades begin to spin, the coarse uh, nature of the salt is gonna start to break down those peppers, right? It's gonna start to pulverize them into the salt. The blades are gonna start to cut everything down to size. And when we're done, we're gonna have a, a salt that has enough texture to it to be usable. If I use kosher salt in this preparation, we'd end up with powder at the end. It would be really, really super fine and very difficult to disperse from your, from your hand. So this is a way that we can uh, preserve this in the salt. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and begin by pulsing this a few times. And we're gonna watch it, it's still pretty coarse. Smelling good and looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off and I'm gonna lay this out on the tray so you guys can see it. You can see the beautiful yellow color that's taken on. And the thing about this preparation that's great is salt is very hygroscopic, which means it draws moisture. That's why in the summertime you go in a diner and they put some grains of rice in the salt shaker. That's because that salt wants to suck up the moisture in the air and get clumpy. Uh, same thing here, the moisture in the peppers is being drawn in by the salt, right? So now you see the beautiful color of the salt. We're gonna lay this out like this. It's actually pretty dry and flows pretty easily. Now, this is still really coarse. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see how coarse that is still. Um, we could continue to run the machine, no problem. You can control this, this is the beauty of it, is you, get, you are in control of how coarse or how fine you want your salt to be. Now, change the, prep, change the pepper, use one of the chocolate peppers like we used before, you're gonna get a more reddish salt. This is a nice yellow color, I love the color of this. Uh, and this is wonderful to use in all different preparations from cures, like when we cured our confit. If you wanted a spicy confit, you could use a salt like this. Uh, you could put this, if you go in a little finer and you like it really, really hot, you can put it on your grilled sweet corn with uh, some butter, make a nice elote, really, really nice. So the, the, you know, again, sky's the limit, use your imagination. Thanks for joining us again. This is Todd Musman with Muss and Turners, and this has been The Local Table, brought to you by Springer Mountain Farms. Mm -hmm.